Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial number 12. On this occasion, I am sharing a Dynamo script for exporting rooms floor view to Power BI. The goal is to demonstrate how to build this component inside Power BI and link Excel data with it. You can download all the content for this series from my GitHub repository through the link provided below in the description. So let's start. A go to this folder 12 power bi start folder i have already opened the sample project and the dynamo file in this session we'll walk through the dynamo script explaining each part make sure revit internal units are in meters and revit language is english so we start collecting all rooms in active view So this part extracts data from Revit exporting room ID, name, area, perimeter to later build a simple dashboard inside Power BI. You can extend it as needed. Next is the part for creating an SVG file. Please refer to this website to learn more about SVG format. Briefly, the idea is to use room corner points to create a polygon tag. And also we are using this text tag to place at centroid of room its name. Now let's go back to Dynamo. We extract room boundaries. This part removes the little inner closed curves. For example, these closed curves where structure pillars are placed. So we are ignoring these holes. Next is to get the outer boundary of the room. Maybe you have a room inside another room. I intentionally place this room to verify that we are, for, for example, for this instruction room, we are getting its external boundary. So, as I showed you earlier, we need corner points. So, this Python node, this Python code replaces curves with points. For example, if we have a circular curve, then 100 points are placed to approximate the curve. If the curve is a simple line, we just pick the start point. In this part, we calculate the size of the SVG object. In this part, every polygon is shift to positive quadrant. This step ensures that all polygons are repositioned within the positive quadrant of the coordinate system. This Python code converts a dynamo point into a 2D point as string and also calculates the centroid of room where we'll place a room tag. Finally, this Python code writes an SVG file you can see first we create svg header then add a polygon element following by adding a label finally save svg file so these are the method we use to create our svg file it's very straightforward so now let's specify where we want to save this svg file so i'm saving in start folder let's give it a name and also specify where you want to save the excel file this part of script has exported this excel file and this part has prepared svg file which is this one so now let's jump to power bi import the excel file in our case the sheet is summary So now 
you have to download the synoptic panel which you can find on this website go to visuals synoptic panel and download it i have already downloaded and provided you but you can download it from this website now here in power bi let's load the synoptic panel component which is this one after we import successfully this component visual component now let's build a simple dashboard select this component make sure you configure correctly this component as i as i have configured it click on local maps select the svg file so if you click on polygon you can see the data is shown with that is connected to this polygon everything is working as expected now you can uh, show your revit views inside power bi and link data with them i hope you find this tutorial useful thank you